welcome to a special election edition of Breeze TV. We'll be live for the next hour giving you updates on the most important races here in Virginia and from across the country. Happy Saturday everyone and welcome to NASCAR race day here at the FS1 studios alongside of Caitlin Vinci. I'm Paige Ellenberger and we're so glad you're joining us because tensions are heating up as teams are beginning to feel the pressure of the awaited playoffs however. Yeah, thanks guys. It was just a few hours ago that we saw his daughter, Nikki, grace the court of the Congo for the first time because she set out due to NCAA transfer rules. She came from Syracuse, however, like you mentioned, she's not the only Auburn Ivory to travel some great distance to spend in their time in the Congo. Check out what time it is. Not only is it 4.37 in the morning, but it's also 14 degrees outside. Over hundreds of Harrisonburg residents and JMU students waited here overnight, and some left with nothing. Thank you so much, Logan. You touched a little bit of how close these races can be, and that's definitely the case for the 94th district. Do you mind talking to us a little bit about that one and the last election that they held? So whether you're building a social media empire, buying or keeping company with a furry friend, or trying your grandma's oldest recipes, we hope you're staying safe and healthy during this time. Reporting from my home in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Paige Ellenberger. Breeze TV. Yeah, interesting to say the least. Chairs are literally flipping over here from assistant coaches. Thanks, Eli. The Harrisonburg Police Department Auxiliary Unit is made up of volunteers from the community. The unit helps HPD with patrols, traffic duties, and other law enforcement tasks around Harrisonburg. Breeze TV's Noah Ziegler shows us what the program entails. Freshman starter Michael Christmas was a gift to this purple and gold squad. Let's reminisce on his high school career. As a sophomore, he was the state's 6A player of the year. Fast forward two years as a senior in the state tournament, the man averaged over 24 points a game, nine boards a game, and over nine blocks a game. He had eight offers, including some from VCU, ODU, and Villanova, but he chose to start his four-year collegiate career right here in the Valley with the Buccaneers. He was one of eight coaches to win the Big South Coach of the Year Award, and he's the winningest coach in Charleston Southern history. He led the Bucks to the semifinals in the Big South Tournament last year, defeating number 10 USC, upsetting number three Winthrop, and ultimately falling to Radford late in the tournament. I love going over to the sidelines before the game just to kind of get a little chit-chat going on with Coach Z. I asked them what the intentions are going into this game. They're both ranked and closely ranked, so at one hand it's a little bit more pressure than the Wake Forest game, let's say. But he said we go into every single matchup exactly the same. It sounds a little corny, but why switch up if it's working? Guard Bryce Williams is definitely stepping into some huge shoes at the Niners program. He's son of the legendary Steve Williams. Now Steve is the all-time leading scorer with over 2,300 shots made. He averaged 20 points a game during his four-year career and holds six more top 10 school records to go along with it. He was drafted by the Spurs in 1992, but he really made his name in the Italian League. He was titled the new king after winning the Italian League MVP. It's with sadness, I have to say, though, Steve passed away last March at the age of 47. So the next four years for Bryce will be very memorable ones for sure. Guys. You hit a little bit on the head coach, Bobby Muse, but let's really talk about him with an overall record of 73 wins, 11 ties, and only seven losses. What can you say about that? People ask him all the time what the key to success is. He never really knows what to say. He just says creating a winning environment and keeping things consistent. Yeah, thanks, guys. It was just a few hours ago that we saw his daughter, Nikki, grace the court of the Congo for the first time because she set out due to NCAA transfer rules. She came from Syracuse, however, like you mentioned, she's not the only Auburn Ivory to travel some great distance to spend in their time in the Congo. Her dad, Josh, was added onto the coaching staff this year, and his path is extraordinary. He spent time with the Nets, the Bucks, and the Rockets, boosting all of their shooting percentages just because he's that offensive magician that you guys as we're talking about earlier. He credits all of these accomplishments to one central thing, 
faith. He talks heavily about how his walk with Christ leads into his professional career. The one parable he relates his program back to is the bad soil, the thorny soil, and the good soil. He talks about when his players enter the program, they're planted into that good soil, and they grow into the best humans they could possibly be, Kurt. Although the Dukes fell to Radford in their last away contest, Dwight Wilson picks up his second straight double-double. He scored 16, point, 16 points, all while racking up 13 boards.